and your stool to smoke. And smoking, once it starts to create, and this is a statistic, I'm not just fear mongering here. This is a statistic. When COPD starts developing in the lung, look at the situation here. Look at the situation. When it starts developing, this happens eventually. When it starts to develop, when you are puffing your worries away, what starts to happen is the lung architecture starts to change. Then either you become a bloater eventually or a puffer. And the thing never reverses. So, so if this is the health of the lung, starting from zero to 100%, you are at 100%. And then a silly friend of yours thought that it's cool to smoke and put you on smoking as well. All right. And you were silly enough as well. Now, when you start smoking, after some time, the lung health will start to come back. You will be at 95%, 90%. It happens, okay? Now, what I want your attention to is this 70% is fixed. Even if you quit today in the prof, mid-prof, and somebody takes that button, throws it away, you can't replenish the 30% that you have lost to stupidity. This is the problem with COPD. In one word, irreversible. 